Good morning. All right, so here's what I have done. All right. Yeah, I'm being point Dexter nerd today with the glasses and everything. Um, okay, so here's what I've done. Yes, I've had another night of not sleeping, but that one's Danny's fault because we were sitting up watching movies all night. We watched um, Alexander and Will and Grace and something else. Let's see. I need to get new glasses. Um. Oh yeah, and the end of Phantom of the Opera. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I'd seen Phantom of the Opera and Will and Grace before, but I have not seen Alexander. Uh, just so you all know, that's a long-ass movie. There's two discs. I didn't know this. But it was very good. Um, I enjoyed watching it. Very long, again, like I said. But it was good times. So here's my good news. All right. So remember how yesterday I was up in the morning. Up in the right. Or start that phrase over. <clears throat> remember how I was up at early in the morning, right? And I went and I decided that I was gonna go for a walk. Found everything out. Did some thought process. Whatever. Right. Okay. Well, t yesterday. I went to the bank at like 8.30 and um, went to the bank and I was asking, that I was going in there initially to get another uh, bank account open for my Avon business, right? Because I didn't want to mix that money with my personal money because that can cause problems. This is going to bug me. That can uh, cause problems, right? So I don't do that. I was like, cool beans. Did that. And then I ended up, like, the banker there, she's really nice. Her name is Sarah Chesney. If, you ever, if you're ever in Minnesota, Duluth area, and you need to go to Wells Fargo, go to the West Duluth branch and see her. She's wonderful. Very wonderful, perfect child of God. So. My family on YouTube. Yes. Oh, Danny's coming to say hello. Say hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. Yes, she lives with me now. We were watching <clears throat> movies all kinds last night. And, like I said, yeah. Alexander the Great Man Whore. He was. He was a man whore. Let me tell you. All right. All right. So, back to my story. Back to my story, like I was saying. So, I went to the bank. And I was like, all right, cool beans. Talked with her about getting the new bank account opened up. I was like, sweet. Got that taken care of. That was off my to-do list. And then I went to... Where are you going? I'm going to sit on the back porch and write. So oh. This is just my soap. Okay. So I got distracted. All right, so anyways, went and talked to the bank lady. And... uh <clears throat> went and did that, and that was fun. And then, also when I was talking to her, I was like, you know what, I want to get a credit card, right? Now, Danny always yells at me from she says they're evil. What's evil? Credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we're like, okay. I talked with her, and I didn't think that my credit was actually good. Honestly, after the... If you don't see me for, like, probably an hour... The crazy coma next door neighbor probably stole me and whittled me into something. <laughs> okay. I'll come rescue you. And so, um, we were sitting out there, whatever, chatting up, whatever, and, uh, I didn't think my credit was that good. I thought my credit sucked beans, right, after the little catastrophe that I went through with unpaid bills because apparently people who are staying in someone else's house and you know while they're gone at training and you ask them make sure these bills get paid they don't do it and then you're like well damn obviously you're incompetent so so then right I ended up actually I ended up getting approved for a credit card. I was like, cool. Now I have something for emergencies, right? Credit card to evil. 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 
guess what? They can't hear you because the little microphone thing didn't work. Evil! Go, go right! Credit go. cards are evil! Go right! <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. So, anyways, I ended up getting. I ended up going. I ended up going and getting, evil. getting that. Evil. And I got approved for that. I was like, cool. Evil. And so, evil. <laughs> I got approved up to seven hundred dollars. That's the way that story works. So, anyways, and then I found out that the bank lady, right? She wants to look at catalogs from Avon. So I, I got lucky on both of them. Evil. Bankers are evil too. That's going to be the title of this video. Bankers and credit cards are evil. We'll see what happens. Anyways, so that was pretty great and wonderful. And I was talking with the banker. And, you know, she told me, she asked me why I was in, had it over my head and everything and what happened. And I was like, well, a lot of it's hospital bills. And she's like, that is something I do not understand. You know, why should hospital bills count against you on your credit score? Can you understand that for me? I, I don't understand that either because, you know, last time I checked, I didn't ask to get sick. I didn't ask to get terminal cancer. I didn't ask to get anything like that. Not that I have any of those things, but my point is no one asked asks to get those things. And then, you know, that's like the most expensive thing like in the world besides a house or a really nice car. All right. So... Folks were all, she was talking to me about it, and I was like, dude, I completely agree with you. Because, seriously, no one asks to go and get, get sick. No one asks to get any of those types of problems. But yet, you know, the whole world is sitting here, you know, I'm going to tax you, or I'm going to make you pay, make you pay, make you pay. And if you don't pay, I'm going to ruin your life. I think that's rude. So, uh, Yeah. We were talking about that, and I, I, I agree with her on that. I don't think it should count against your credit score. I think that it should be. It's not considered a late. I'm sorry. It's not considered a luxury. If you're paying for a house, a car, or something like that, I could see that because those are, like, luxuries. You can't live without those things, but you do need medical care. Everybody does. Everybody should have medical care or some type of co coverage. I don't know, but that's, that's another story. That's another video. So, after all that, then I went up to the college, the community college, and I was like, oh, cool. You know, since I'm up, might as well. And I went over there, and I talked to her. I, I, I got up there, and there was all kinds of cars in the parking lot. Like, I was like, really? There was no place to park. No place to park. In, like, two acres of parking, there's no parking spot open. I was like, all right, I'll go home. So I went home, and then I ended up calling there. And they said that I didn't have to fill out a new app or I didn't ha I had to fill out a new application, but I did not have to um, pay the twenty dollars that go with it for the application fee because I was already a, a registered student. I was like, hey, cool. So hopefully, with by the graces of the universe, I will be enrolled in school in January. Finally, finally. It is, it's time for Ryan to get an education, you know, so I'm excited about that. And then, um, you know how everybody goes out and spends money on calendars and everything? I, I, I did I did it, where did it go? I did it simple. That and you cannot find a calendar anywhere in this town right now for like the rest of the year. It's pointless. You look. Well, I don't know where they went. Anyways, I don't know where they went, but I made um a list on a piece of paper, and I'm gonna tag them up over here on the other side of my computer, on the other side of my desk. So I always have them to look at. One is gonna be a list of goals that I want to do for September, and then one by one, I'm just gonna check them off, check them off, check them off, and then the other piece of paper. There's a calendar. I had to have Danny help me make it because I could not draw a straight line for the life of me. Big surprise. And so, so I had to have artistic Danny go and do it for me. And uh, Danny did it for me. 
And uh, so then I started filling in everything that I needed. So I, I'm getting places. I'm getting places. I'm really excited about it. I'm getting things organized. I'm, rem I'm writing down my goals so that now I remember them. And, yeah, life is good. I put on there that I want to at least try and save now that I got a good job. And uh, I'm also I'm donating plasma. Um, yeah, I'm, I got a good job. I'm donating plasma every once in a while. I do Avon. I'm going to start looking at Immunical and Immunitech. Same company. Um, one's a product, one's a company. And then uh, working with uh, TBI residents. <clears throat> I'm looking into that and I was like, cool. So I should be easily be able to at least put $100 in my savings at the end of the, of the month. And if I keep up that, I should be able to do that each month. And that will be able to help me build a good savings. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, all the while I can swipe that credit card like once a month, for like a tank of gas or something, and then just pay it off. And then all the while build credit. So all those things are coming into play and I'm pretty excited about it so yeah that was my morning surprise for everybody there's your video Tosh you have a great day everyone be good to yourself bye